Let's factor the equation x squared plus 5x minus 36. And we'll use these guidelines here to help us do that. The first thing we want to do is set up our skeleton equation. So I've done that right here already. Next, we're going to add the signs to our skeleton equation. In this case, we have a positive and then a negative. So the last term is negative. I'm going to put a positive and negative in my skeleton equation like this here. Now we can find the factors for the last term. That's the negative 36. And if we add them together, we want to get the middle term. That's the 5. So I think of factors of 36. So if I write the factors of 36, this is what I get. So each one of these would equal 36. It looks like 4 and 9. The difference between 4 and 9 is 5. So if I want a positive 5, let's put the 9 here and the 4 here because 9 and minus 4, that would give us the 5. And we've correctly factored the equation x squared plus 5x minus 36. But we should check our work with the FOIL method, just to make sure we got it right. So the first term, x times x, that's x squared outside. x times negative 4, that's negative 4x inside. 9 times x is 9x. And the last term, 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 equals 0. Let's combine these terms right here. And we end up with, and this is the same thing we started with. So we knew we did this correctly. Let's find the values for x now that'll make this all equal to 0 here. So 0 equals 0, that'd be a true statement. So x plus 9 equals 0, x equals a negative 9. Over here, x minus 4 equals 0. x would equal a positive 4. If you put negative 9 in for x and you did the math, this would all equal 0. Likewise, if you put 4 in for x, you do the math, all of this equals 0. So we did this correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you'd end up with these same numbers right here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 5x minus 36. Thanks for watching.